don't know how you remember all these beats. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, man. <laughs> he going through. I'm like, how many? How many do you have? Looking at this, thousands. Okay. <laughs> First studio session was, it was just, it was dope. It was good to just see how a producer really worked. Like, Reef is quiet, but I think me and him both have that club kind of DJ here. He's a producer, I'm a DJ. It's kind of, it's very closely related. Zay has her own style, and we just got to see how we can naturally marry that freshness that he likes with her style. And like I said, Reef does this for a living. He has to stand behind it too. How you doing? What's up? I'm Judging good. your competition. We Yo, meet again. We meet again. Definitely. Hey. So we was in here kind of, you know, putting together some beats we think you would sound great on. You know, he's watched you perform. I uh, checked out a lot of your stuff. But of course, we need your insight. Hopefully you find something you vibe with because it's crunch time. We got to make this song like yesterday. I had an idea in mind, kind of like a sugar and spice record. Like, you know, the hook is kind of like, you know, she likes to do like hood pop. So the hook is kind of like, more, you know, light. And then when the verse comes in, it's just hard. When you rap, I want that, like the hardness, like that delivery you give, I want that to be felt more. I know one joint you just played, I like the way the verse hit, but when I get to the hook, I want to still be like kind of playful and poppy. <laughs> Yeah, for the clubs, like radio. A lot of lot of songs right now that's popping pop or even like in that lower, that down tempo, like 70, 75, or it's like 82 to like 92. Mm -hmm. So when you make a song, you kind of want to sit in that range so mm -hmm. your song can mix with other popping songs. I definitely want to do something with a bounce because I feel like if we have to do a single, it has to be something it when you hear it, you move to right away. This will work. No, this one is kind of hitting everything on the head. Like, it's hard, but it's still. We have a summer, take our hats off and talk some. <laughs> Did woo, the hat woo, come woo. off? <laughs> it's still come off this summer, you feel me? It's still come off this summer. The fact that she came in with a, a wig hat. Like, <laughs> like, come on. Like, that, that you can't you can't make this up. Like, that, that beat right there. Right. That's everything we was looking for. Like I said, I wanted something like, you know, sugar and spice, something hard, but still a little dainty so it could be cute for the ladies. Right. But do you want to listen to some other beats? Like we got the producer here right now. I think it would be smart to like, listen to a few other joints and have like a variety. No, yeah, for sure. You might fall in love with Just something else too. This one feel good. And this is the first beat she starts actually, mm -hmm. actually like mm -hmm. crooning to. Mm -hmm. This might be it. Yeah. I like this. Go back to that first one she loved too. I want to see which one she loved more. Mm, it <laughs> feel different now after you heard it that one. It do. It just it's, feel different. It's a different mm. vibe. But I still kind of like that other one a little better. This is tough though. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> This just make you want to dance, though. It's just depending on how you're trying to feel. And this one, I want you to come and just snap it like from the rip. This was the third one. This the super love, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I kind of gotta like grab them all and, and right. really pick. I think it's better to perform more of an upbeat record, especially because she has so much personality. Like I feel like she can let that record shine more. Like she can sell it more. You have to perform this record, right? Right, right. So we know you bring the energy when you perform like up-tempo records. Mm -hmm. So that might be something you want to consider. Not yeah. saying you can't deliver when you do a slower record, but you know, you got people there. Everybody else must, might be doing a turn up joint. You don't want to come in and kind of slow it down, slow it down yeah. too yeah. much. But this could also work in the club too. Or this could work because, um, you know, you hear certain songs from Lil Baby, 
certain songs it's slow songs that play in a club so it all depends okay let me just take them out take all them three out. <laughs> I would say it. take two though I really would say take your top two I really want you to pick two tomorrow we, we only recording one whatever you gravitate towards more is what we gotta lean towards okay cause I'll never try to force you on a beat yep. you know what I mean that that really ain't speaking to okay, you okay okay and be but, yourself exactly for sure I didn't want to jump out and say it should be this beat or that beat. We don't want her to come out the gate cheesy. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to listen to the song that don't really know you yet as an artist, and I want it to stand out. Oh, this get tight. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's up my thinking. <laughs> well, I mean, it's confusing for her, of course. It's easy for us to say we don't have to go in there and make the bop, you know? So that's why me and Reef in here trying to, we're trying to do whatever we can do. I'm not a songwriter at all, but just trying to give her that inspiration, that feeling. I just want you to bring your A game, get your different flows together tonight, and then, you know, tomorrow I'll be coming in and knock it out. There's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna listen to this song that don't really know you yet as an artist, and I want it to stand out. So okay. when you do start rapping, I want them to be like, whoa, who, like, who's this again? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to have that feel. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him hard. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is exciting, because I know I'm gonna kill it, so I'm just ready to kill it. I feel like if a good artist is in the studio, in one day, they could probably knock out two to three okay tracks. Maybe one is like worth working on more, but they're in there putting something down. I, I need to feel something, you know? And I want to yeah. make people feel something. I want them to walk away with some type of emotion when yeah. they, damn, you're right there, that. I'm gonna call my baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a girl. <laughs> baby mama, what you doing? Yeah, you, know what girl. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know? Turn up. Let's do it. Literally, turn it up. Hey. <laughs> It's gonna be what it's gonna be.